What's up, you two? It's your boy Arsenal Man bring guys another video. As you can tell by the title, we're doing the top five best loadouts in March 2021 for Warzone. Okay, I'm coming to you guys with some heat, bro. I'm coming to you guys with some, some classes that will improve your gameplay drastically. So if it does improve your gameplay, make sure you like that video. Make sure you smash the like button, man um so listen warzone is a personal preference call of duty is a personal preference case by case like when it comes to play styles everything right so these are most likely for the newer players newer these i made some classes for the the, the beginners the like not like middle pack players and then the advanced players like i i consider myself an advanced style player okay so we're gonna start from number ten, from number five all the way up to number one i dropped the bonus um class in there for you guys so i hope you guys like this video if you do make sure you smash the like button make sure you subscribe and always remember success never lies the hard work that you're putting in right now determines the person that you're gonna be in the future hope you guys enjoy this video take it easy peace All right, so hopping into number one class, right? So hopping into the first class, we're gonna be talking about the XM4 and the FFAR. So the XM4 has been recently experimented with like top streamers like Swag, Nick Merck, um, and a lot of them. Like, uh, so and I've been watching and paying attention and even trying it for myself. Um, this is just an experimental class. I think that it's, you should take this with a grain of salt. I think that you should um, try it for yourself, test around the attachments, and then let me know in the comments if you like it. But these are the class set or these are the attachments um, that I've used on the X4. So we got the agency suppressor. Recently, like it was an issue with the agency suppressor, but they fixed it back to normal. It's amazing. So we have the takedown barrel. A lot of people have been using the extended barrel. But for me personally, um, I just like to take that barrel. Field agent grip, the 60 round mag, um, and then the, the two time stock, or the two time uh, optic, right? You could also add a stock on it, or you could add a rear grip. You could take off the 60 and put like airborne elastic or serpent, or you could put like raider stock, okay? But for me personally, I use 60 mag because the XM4 isn't the strongest gun, so that extra clip, that extra ammo that it gives you, um, that it, it helps a lot. So yeah, and then my FFAR class is the agency suppressor, takedown barrel, field agent grip, 50 round mag with the radar stock. You also can do the same with this. So say if you don't need the 50 round, you can put on the serpent wrap or the airborne elastic wrap, and um, and yeah, you'll be safe. So yeah, so that's my first class, the XM4 and FFAR. So the second class is my ghost class. This is probably one of the most important classes for when you're maneuvering around the map, you get your second loadout. Um, yeah, get the ghost class. So I have the FFAR because I like to use FFAR like a submachine gun. I know it's an AR, but up close it shreds. And I think that if you actually put yourself in like a mid range to close range and you use this gun, this is the flex gun. This is if you're playing, if you're in the competitive scene or understanding competitive, this is the flex gun. This is the Maddox, like uh, just similar to the Maddox, like the Black Ops 4 and the K bar from uh, Infinite Warfare. Like, this is all these are like this is the do it all gun for up close and mid range. Um, you can do some long range gunfights, but this is more like prevalent or it's more just super impactful mid range. In close range. So yeah, so I have the same thing. Agency suppressor take down, field agent grip, 50 round mag, and then the raider. Okay. Um I have the machete simply because it, it like I feel like I run faster and I can like cut people. I can I don't have the Kali six unlocked, so I just use these to just run around and slice people, you know? So yeah. So I have double time ghost and amp, um, all fast classes, but get my gun quick, and switch my gun quick, like slice people and stuff. So yeah. That's my ghost class. Number three. This is honestly 
I've seen so many people run this loadout over the past month or two. Um, the AUG is the meta at this moment. Uh, I dropped a video talking about it or playing with it. I'll put that in the in like a, 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 like a, a link or something in the below or down below, and I'll put a little a card up above talk, like with the link in the cloud or the video. Hope you guys check that out. But the AUG plus the FFAR is hands down one of the most used classes of right now so basically the AUG is better than the m16 the m16 is still better to me personally like if i have ground loot and i pick up the AUG or i pick up the m16 i will go for the m16 but recently with this update this recent update the attachments on the m16 have like decreased a lot so the AUG has like overpowers overall is a better gun so these are this is the attachment agency suppressor cavalry lancer speed grip the 45 drum but you also can make you can do field agent with this 45 drum um if you like I, I just use 45 drum i don't try to go over it i want speed when i use that in the three times right so you can use three times or the two times um i also also use this reticle like the precision reticle like the three because i don't like having a big thing like a big um cross on my screen when i'm in it i want to see his head and be able to aim up and like get his head with the reticle so yeah um yeah this is all personal preference like i said agency press take down i have target finder on this right i have target finder on this no m um i don't know why but this is just a class that i've been using and i like it a lot i think um I think it's dope, but I'm, I'm for the sake of this video, I'm gonna change it and put the 50 round, take this off, and put the stop. Okay, I think this is the best match. Like, this is just overall the best. Like, that right there, just a raw gun. Um, but for more ammo and better, like, no, not reloading so much, uh, put the mag on. So, yeah. Uh, the fourth class setup, right? This is the AMAX and the FFAR. As you can see, is a consistency, right? FFAR, FFAR, FFAR. Like FFAR is crazy. It's, it's honestly crazy. Um, but yeah. Like, like, look. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, okay. So. So Amax, all right, boom. Amax is, if you're looking for like a long range gun that melts people and stuff like that, the Amax is your best bet, right? A lot of people, it's, it's just case by case, personality, uh, play types, like the pacing that you're gonna go, if you like how the gun feels when you aim in or, or whatever like that. So just make sure, um, take these classes with a grain of salt. They are also, they they work very, very good with me. I produce um 15 plus kill gameplays and stuff with these classes so i think like it's just all personal play style that's how college, like call of duty is so yeah so basically the monolithic suppressor the zodiac the commando you can also take like change this and put on like stippled um the pok site and this is just as my standard amac class all around it's pretty good um you see the mobility isn't the best you know but it's fine like i use it i use it as an ar honestly i use it as a post-up ar and then i switch it with if i want to use the like uh mid-range close range gunfight i pull out the FAR and i shoot. so yeah obviously go back agency for the takedown field agent and raider for the AR. and then last but not least this is the amax plus the mp5 and people might have really mixed opinions about this class setup, but me personally, I like the Mac or I like the MP5 from MW way better than the Mac 10. I think the Mac 10 is just weak in certain situations, and this is just a all around like the MP5 from MW is just all around really good gun. So yeah, so I got the Monolith Suppressor, uh, Zodiac, Commando 45 be okay with the AMAC, right? And then I have the monolithic integral suppressor. Not the monolithic on the muzzle, the monolithic on the barrel, right? So, 
doesn't give a much damage right but it helps i don't know what it does I, like it's something about this that makes it feel 10 times better i've used the merc grip stipple grip stay fully loaded and collapsible the collapsible one. He, that that class is amazing and then for a bonus class as you can see it's the kilo with the ffar and i switched up the attachments on the ffar a little bit okay so with the kilo i got the monolithic the singular arms um 19.8 i got the commando the stipple grip and the vo you also could change this out for the 60 round or 100 round um mag it just depending on how you want to like do you know so but for me i, I it's my play style i love it the way it is um i was frying yesterday playing with this so yeah and then for the ffar i have the agency suppressor the, the cavalry lancer the bruiser grip bro the bruiser grip this is my like speed demon straight crazy class dude with the 38 round i low-key might change this and put the 50 and then the serpent it helps you ads freaking super duper quick um so yeah like this is the class setup that i use the most um most people don't i've got some mixed opinions about the kilo but i love the kilo i hope you guys like this class or like these class setups um let me know if you want me to drop some more tips and tricks or like loadout videos or or anything um i appreciate you guys for all the support on my channel I've been really loving the feedback and everything that's done with it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Always remember, success never lies, man. The hard work that you put it in, it will shine, and it will shine, bro. You don't have to worry about doing any gimmicks. You don't have to worry about, like, trying to put off the facade, like, you're someone that you're not. Just keep grinding, keep being yourself, and always remember.